This circulated yet sharply struck 1989 Jefferson Nickel showcases crisply defined motifs, particularly on the steps of Monticello. However, a small amount of smoothness on, on one or two steps likely prevents it from achieving the coveted full steps designation if graded. The D mint mark below the date indicates that this coin was struck in Denver, finding a 1989 D Jefferson Nickel in MS66 condition or higher is a quite a challenge, similar to other days from the 1980s and 1990s in this series. Coins with full steps characteristics are especially rare and command a significant premium. For instance, a specimen graded MS66 Plus with full steps fetched over $2,500 at Great Collections Auction. So if you come across a high-grade example, know that you are holding a highly valuable piece. Next up is 1989 Roosevelt Time, a circulated yet extremely fine specimen that still displays some traces of mint luster. The P mint mark indicates that this coin was struck at the Philadelphia branch of the US Mint. It features a slight misalignment, notably as a railroad effect on western rims. On the reverse, the 1989 P Roosevelt Time is quite common with over, with over billion struck or circulation. Finding one in circulation should be relatively easy. However, examples in MS67 full bands or higher are much harder to find and are considered scarce. A highly sought after specimen graded MS68 with full bands sold for an impressive $2,925 at Great Collections Auction. Here we have 1981 Lincoln sent from my collection, in heavily circulated condition. I was honestly shocked to see this coin so impaired in eye appeal. After just one year, removing it from its holder has significantly faded the coppery luster, as evident from the comparison with the previously shot video of the same coin. Minted in large quantities, the 1981 Lincoln Cent holds more value in higher grades in circulated conditions such as MS65 or higher. It can fetch a premium among collectors. With sharp details and lustrous appearance, an MS65 graded coin might be valued around $5, while an MS67 example could reach $30 or more. The scarcity of high grade coins combined with the sense historical significance make it sought after piece for collectors aiming to complete their Lincolns and collections. Look for coins with minimal marks and strong eye appeal to maximize their value. One particular valuable specimen graded MS68 red was sold for an impressive $5,907.38 at Great Collections Auction. Here we have 1964 Kennedy of dollar in about uncirculated condition, boasting lustrous surfaces and light cartwheel effect. Millions of these coins survive in mint state, many are heavily marked from years of being traded in back quantities. Gem examples are readily available up to MS66, though achieving grades higher than MS64 often requires attractive toning. Proof-like examples are known, but quite rare, likely struck from Retired proof dies that retain their polished fields. One particular valuable specimen graded MS68 sold for an impressive $12,500 on eBay in 2019. This is 1997D Washington Quarter. The circulated coin comes with strong distraction, this unpleasant oxidation layer near the eastern rims. This is likely the result of contact with humidity. This quarter dollar is sharply struck and displays tiny bits of original mint luster. The verdigris results from copper's reaction with moisture and environmental contaminants, forming a greenish patina. In higher mint state, grades such as MS65 or above, it becomes more desirable to collectors. An MS65 grade coin might be valued at around $5, while an MS67 example could reach $20 or more. Coins with pristine surfaces, strong luster, and minimal marks command higher premiums.
Here is 1989 the Lincoln Cent D mint mark standing for Denver Mint. This specimen is in circulated AU condition with minimal contact marks but some distracting patinas. It also features some plating blisters mainly on reverse side. A 1989 D Lincoln Cent in about uncirculated condition typically has modest value due to its common date and high mintage. However, in high grade mint state conditions, its value increases significantly. An MS65 grade coin can be valued around $5, while an MS67 example could fetch $20 or more. Collectors seek high grade specimens with sharp details, minimal contact marks, and strong luster. To achieve these higher values, ensure the coin is well preserved with clean, eye catching appearance. The scarcity of the top grade coins makes them more attractive and valuable to collectors. Here is Bicentennial Eisenhower dollar from Philadelphia Mint. It's likely in AU condition. AU stands for about uncirculated coin. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe and bell buttons below. Copper nickel clad coin with one year type reverse design featuring the Liberty Bell as well as an image of the moon in the background. Mint issued two different varieties for 1976 Eisenhower dollars. The type 1 has thicker letters on the reverse while the type 2 has thinner letters on the reverse. The difference is most notable on the letters United States of America and $1. Both varieties are common up to about MS65 grades. As you can see, our coin fall into second type category. In terms of value, uncirculated clad 1976 Eisenhower dollar typically does not carry significant premium over its face value. These coins were minted in large quantities in, and many were saved as mementos, resulting in surplus of uncirculated examples available in the market. According to PCGS website, auction record was set in 2014 at Heritage Auctions. Type 1 MS66 specimen was sold for $7,637.50. Thanks for watching this video. As you can see, each coin tells a story of history and heritage. Which one caught your eye? Comment below, subscribe for more numismatic insights. Like and share if you enjoyed the journey through these fascinating pieces of history. Until the next time, God's willing, see you in the next episode.